Shout hey, the music. point at me when I should play the music. Hey, this is Red Band coming to you alive from Better Box Studios for a brand new episode of Kill Tony. Here's Tony Hinchcliffe. Hey, I'm right here. Hi, everybody. Good to be here. A social distance away. It's Red Band, everybody. Hey. Exciting stuff. As you can already see, I do believe they can already see the band is here, ladies and gentlemen. The great Jeremiah Watkins, Jesse Jetski Johnson, and the great Joel Berg, Joel Jimenez. What an exciting time. We are deep in quarantine. Uh, the band, obviously, not characters tonight. Just themselves. Some of the wackiest characters that there are. <laughs> anyway, life is good. Business is booming. We are live out of Better Box Studios here. The great uh, Gino letting us camp out on a Monday. Beautiful studio. Beautiful Speedy. times. We love Better Box. This episode's also brought to you by Damn Good Candle Company. Go to damngoodco.com, damngoodco.com. Get yourself a great smelling candle. Check out Speedweed, of course, for all your uh, marijuana distribution needs in all of the legal places. And uh, shout out to Go Girl Energy Drink. Oh, I mean, yes. just one of the finest energy drinks there are. Made for women, enjoyed by men all around the world. Hey, if you work for Go Girl, please get in touch with us because we have a super fan here that orders yeah. it every week, gets it shipped to him. Yeah. And he's a guy. And he's the man. That's Gino. And uh, we are out of the amazing Better Box Studios today. A lot of fun stuff we have planned for you. And I am excited about it. And in the meanwhile, I can make an announcement. Everyone that bought a ticket in Miami to Kill Tony, your ticket just got automatically transferred to July 31st and August 1st. These dates are getting rescheduled, people. So beautiful Miami, Florida. We're going to be one of those buffoons on the beach. Um, maybe not Red Band on the beach. He'll be at the hotel. But we are going to be in Miami July 31st and August 1st as of right now. And we, 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 should we break some news? Oh, I, I, guess. I didn't even tell you guys about this. Oh, no. You're about to watch everybody get some breaking news. Kill Tony Mania is coming back to San Francisco. And the road to Kill Tony Mania is coming back to Sacramento. If civilization still exists in October, we will be there. The 14th and 15th in Sacramento. The Road to Kill Tony Mania, those shows were a blast, uh, 2019. And San Francisco, the 16th, 17th, and the 18th this year. Five Kill Tony Manias out of San Francisco. One show on the Sunday, two on Friday, two on Saturday. What are you guys laughing about over there? <laughs> his eyes when he said, uh, Why? Okay. That's good. We're going to stop for 10 seconds and then come back. You just have to change one setting. Okay. Uh, what, uh, what are what are you worried about? At uh, <laughs> Sacramento. Five? Keep telling him news. Yeah. Tony is face we did four. <laughs> we did four the last two years. <laughs> One more on a Sunday. Is cool. that enough to pop your guys' eyeballs out oh, of his sockets? <laughs> <dude. laughs> yes. One more show. Um. So yes, we're doing five news that makes you go. <laughs> I guess so. And you know that fifth one's probably going to sell out, and we're going to add a second one, so it's going to be six probably. At least. I'm surprised that you guys are surprised. If you guys would like to do less shows or go no. home, feel free. No. I mean, you don't have to if you don't want to. We're just going to just do one every day yeah. for a week. Well, the, actually, it's better to do it this way because then we'll have a, a bunch uh, stockpiled. Do you think that we're driving home? That Sunday? Should we prep now? Oh, yeah, yeah, my style. Yeah. Well. <laughs> my, 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 guess, my guess is yes. Yeah. Since we only have one show, my guess is yes. The only thing I would worry about is anybody not getting a little too drunky pie or roofing themselves uh, no, down I'm, there in uh, San Francisco. Definitely not going to do that. Yeah. That well, was a horrible night. Yeah, especially for uh, the people that were responsible and had to just sit around and try to make the best of it. But that's old news anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Are we back online? Yeah. Are we on the internet? More, more fun stuff happening. Ryan J. E. Belt is drawing tonight's episode from home, and we are going to be checking in with him at the end of this episode to see what he ended up drawing. Everything at RyanJEBelt.com 
including all the amazing road posters and prints of every single episode are available at ryanjebelt.com. He's an unbelievable artist. Everything is on sale right now, and it's an exciting time for that. Very fun stuff. And a lot of people are online nowadays. That seems to be the big thing. And what part of our online searches does the government have a right to know about? That's a great <laughs> question. I know that uh, we all look at, we've asked people, and we found out a lot of people look at some suspicious porn. People uh, people are into wild things. Red Band, you do a lot of the chat things and, uh, and nudie cam things. Uh, yeah. <laughs> nudie cam things. Nudie cam. What does he become a grandfather? <laughs> okay, boomer. Things. But the answer... <laughs> The answer is none of the above. The government doesn't have a right to know anything you do. And if you have ExpressVPN, they, uh, they cannot see anything. Without ExpressVPN's protection, though, hackers, governments, ad companies, and ISPs all have full access to your data. I don't want them using my web history or video searches against me. That's why I use ExpressVPN every time I go online. ExpressVPN encrypts and reroutes your web traffic to any number of countries, keeping you safer and secure. Download the ExpressVPN app, click to connect, and boom, you're protected. With ExpressVPN, you can make it seem like you're browsing from a whole different country. So you can watch Netflix library in the world, anywhere in the world. Yeah, you could watch pretty much if they don't have like a... I, I've been using a VPN for a long time, Tony. It's great because uh, a lot of times when you're like at the airport, anywhere public, you're opening up your phone to anybody that knows what they're doing. They can go in your phone, take some photos. Uh, a lot of times you want to watch a video, but it's restricted to a different country. Uh, what a VPN does is it pretty much makes it seem like you're surfing, say like you're in Los Angeles. You can make it look like that you're in Canada, so you can access all of Can Canadians' websites. It hides your location is the most important thing. It makes it secure. So if you're ever using a free Wi-Fi or a Starbucks Wi-Fi, or if you just want to, you know, look at different videos throughout the world, I highly re recommend throughout using a VPN. the railroad, indeed. Road. ExpressVPN is the fastest VPN I've tried. Costs less than $7 per Seven. month and comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. It's time to stop governments and internet companies from keeping tabs on your data. Take back your online privacy like I did with ExpressVPN. Protect your online activity today and find out how you can get three months free at expressvpn.com slash killtony. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N.com slash killtony for three months free with a one-year package. Visit expressvpn.com slash killtony to learn more. Hide your nudie cam history with ExpressVPN. <laughs> that is correct. Absolutely doodly. And something else fun that uh, I stumbled across over this week of uh, having a lot of spare time is something for uh, for you Kill Tony fans out there that might not know about this. Maybe you've become a fan recently, but I stumbled across episodes 224 to 236 are all in 360 VR. So I don't have the whole VR goggle set up like Red Band does. However, I do have an iPad that I use a lot and um, it's incredible. You take your iPad on the YouTube app and you can spin it around. So if you miss the feeling of having a live audience right there with you, you can spin your iPad around and remember what it was like back in the day when you used to be able to be in it with a group of people out in public. You haven't got VR yet? Yeah, no. You, you, that's, I highly recommend it. It's so fun. You could even watch movies in VR. You could just lay in your bed and it looks like you're in a movie, a huge outdoor drive-in. You can lay in your bed and watch movies. Uh, some fun episodes those were uh, with Ron White, Tom Segura. A lot of fun VR episodes. You can spin it around. If you have VR, you can do that. If you have an iPad, you can try it. Anything I'm in one like of those that. out of the bucket. Oh, you're in one of those episodes. Yeah. Wow. With Tom Segura. Look at that. Back before the jet ski hit the water. <laughs> so yeah exciting times next week we're going to try a little experiment this is a big announcement for all of you uh kill tony fans that maybe have always wanted to try a minute on this show we're going to try a little experiment send in what you think would be your minute on stage that you would do to videotape it send it into this email g-a-g-e at 2083 group.com Gage, G-A-G-E, at 2083group.com. Is that correct? Is that the right email? And uh, make sure in the heading, this is very important or else it gets deleted, you put Kill Tony Minute and your name. So one more time, Kill Tony Minute and your name in the heading. 
G-A-G-E at 2083group.com. And if it's not a minute, he's just going to delete it. So don't right. just send anything. Just, uh, don't don't a, waste his time. A minute or slightly less. And uh, make sure you put Kill Tony Minute in your name. Jeremiah Watkins. Now, I have a question for those submitting, Tony. Yeah. Is it a, a minute that they're filming in their own living room? Or is it a minute that they can be chopped from a stand-up show that they did? What is the requirements? No. It's, no, it's, I think they have to do a minute in their living room. Yeah. Uh and, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, that sounds about right. You got it. Thanks, Jeremiah. Asking the questions nobody was wondering. Actually, uh, <laughs> yeah, here's, here's my set on HBO. Thanks, uh, Whitney. <laughs> uh, the logic behind that. All right. So, heck, yeah, we're going to have some fun here tonight. This episode is for us to enjoy ourselves for a couple hours and uh, take our minds off of a global pandemic. Huge shout out, by the way, to Vito's Pizza, keeping us filled. Oh, yeah. Even, even in quarantines, nothing can stop Vito's Pizza. Our boy Charlie brings us unbelievable pizza every episode of the show, including here live at Better Box Studios. Make sure in this uh, quarantine that those of you in the Los Angeles area go to uh, Vito's Pizza.com. Something like that. Go to Vito's in. Pizza on the internet and order a pizza from there. You got to order it from somewhere. They have guys working hard delivering. And all Vito's the time. Pizza's legit. If you check yeah. the bar stool app, they they got in the eights. I mean, that's impossible for yeah. scoring. So and let me tell you something. Pizza out here in Southern California absolutely sucks. A lot of people give these other pizza companies credit. I hate every single pizza company that there is that I've tried in LA except for Vito's. They're the only one I believe in. Full. Hinchcliffe endorsement there for Vito's Pizza. I've been so. a fan of Vito's since before they were a sponsor, Tony. Wow. I used to work in downtown L.A. I drove in the rain from downtown L.A. to the location in West Hollywood. One of the best slices you're going to get. There you go. You know, and Joel knows food. I mean, this is the only guy that didn't get food poisoning when we went to Europe. So no one knows food better than Joel. He also drinks puddles. There you go. Thank you. So uh, let's just jump right into uh, tonight's show. I've lined up a few uh, special guests that are going to phone in and talk with us and communicate with us. And uh, perhaps we're going to get started here with a bang with one of the queens of coronavirus. She's been on the show numerous times. Everybody knows her and loves her. Uh, we're going to wait a second for that. Beautiful. How about L13? Is L13 ready and queued up, you think? We're going to wait on that. Beautiful. That. Oh, okay. All right, perfect. So, um, all right. Well, that's great. That's beautiful. So we're up and running. Oh, what it, what oh, great. I just remembered that I had one more announcement that I missed, so that's actually perfect. Hmm. We do have two episodes of the normal show from Ventura mm -hmm. that we have uh, stockpiled. One's coming out tomorrow, and uh, we're going to sort of lag on the release of that other one. Yeah. Um, just so that we can sort of space it out. We don't want you guys doing all your fucking party Yeah, we're going to have fresh, fresh stuff. Uh, yeah. Usually the audio comes first and then the video. So check out not only our, us on iTunes, but also on our YouTube page. Right. Uh, what did you do all week? Because I noticed you were kind of radio silent the whole week. Did you? Uh... I'm enjoying being radio silent. I'm uh, pretty much uh, staying away from social media. I'll check in every once in a while and, uh, you know, just uh, basically really, really relaxing for the first time in absolutely forever. You know, I am a huge fan of documentaries and film. And I've just been getting back to my roots of absorbing art before and having no, nothing to kick it back out on. Just absorbing. You actually look well-rested. You actually look like you've slept. Wow, I do? I <laughs> yeah, you, you, you usually have like little bags on your eyes, but those are completely gone. Well, you know what? That's because uh, we have another sponsor that we're going to talk oh, about yes, next week. I know. No, I'm we, kidding. I haven't used great. anything. You're right. I've just been <laughs> sleeping. And uh, it turns out that my, uh, my fun... Uh, life of living my dreams every single night until 3 a.m. at the comedy store has come to a screeching halt, everyone. <laughs> yes. Turns out normal life fucking sucks. Mm -hmm. No, I'm kidding. I'm having the time of my life, which reminds me, I wrote down a few things that I wanted to recommend to people. You know, why not? Tiger King is out. Just absorb the hell out of that in a day and a half. Highly recommend it. Um, and if you haven't seen McMillian, Succession, and Ozark, Ozark dropping their third season. Jeremiah, are you an Ozark guy? Nope, never seen it. Wow. It's good. It's great. I recommend Devs and Westworld. 
The new, West uh, the, ne- the new season of West Rue. <laughs> I just rewatched yeah. A Bronx Tale. Great movie. Oh, Bronx Tale is great. Yeah. So good. I just watched Moulin Rouge. Ew, that does wow. not hold up. <laughs> that did not hold up. <laughs> this, this was the deal. No. I, I, I got to watch Hobbs and Shaw if I watched Moulin Rouge. Oh. Wow. That's what being married is like. I just recently like. watched it, and I was a Moulin Rouge fan, and it did not hold up for me. I thought it was you were horrible. A fan? I love Moulin Rouge. <laughs> Dude, I liked it. It was, yeah. it was a great soundtrack. Okay. He thought it was oh Moulin God. Rouge. <laughs> he thought there was an Asian girl in it, so he watched it. Speaking I'll of. make a man out of you. Oh, my God. Yeah. How about Succession? You a Succession guy, Jeremiah? Uh-uh. Yep. These are all things you guys have to get into. I mean, I watch. I try to. I give everything a chance, and then the second it sucks, I'm out. These are all things that are absolutely foolproof. These are undeniable shows. The levels that a normal person would say Breaking Bad and The Sopranos, like these are shows that are with those shows. They have the Mighty Duck series on HBO? (laughs) Nope. See, that's dog shit. You absorb a bunch of dog shit. You're a grown adult. Yeah, grown adult. They're good movies. No, they're not. And Wild Tales. Wild Tales is only available (laughs) on YouTube and Amazon at a cost of $3.99. It's an Argentinian anthology feature movie for those of you that actually like uh, cinema and movies and art I, but for 3.99 you absolutely can't beat it nobody knows about it that's a tony hinchcliffe homework uh super bonus i've seen it great movie wild tales t-a-l-e-s go watch uh hoyler gracie versus eddie bravo go watch duck tales <laughs> um it's a I, very I it's recommend a great the gummy series. bears uh, <laughs> 1983 animated I, series i rewatch about, contagion oh my god why would you do that that wasn't even a good movie <laughs> Well, People are watching study. bad movies about Contagion. disease Contagion? out of nowhere. Star-studded cast. Is it? No, not Morgan Freeman. Yeah, That's Morpheus Outbreak. I watched uh, Outbreak Morpheus today. Is yeah, in Morpheus it? is in it. Kate Blanchett, <laughs> Gwyneth Paltrow. Uh, who else is it? Sounds awful. No, it, it sounds horrible. Is A1 ready? I think, think Jennifer Aniston's in it. Oh, huh? Yeah, star-studded. Good movie, though. But pretty chilling. Oh, interesting. Oh, yeah, Matt Damon. <laughs> Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Like too? Matt Damon. Well, one of the stars. Yeah. Oh, uh, Jude Law's in it. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting, interesting stuff. Well, that's fun. And, uh, yeah, absolutely doodly. Let's go to the bucket and take a question from oh, uh, one of our fans while that. we wait for uh, our first guest, Colin. If we can't get uh, A1, you could try D5. Beautiful. Beautiful. Craziest experience on the road. Since you've been with the squad the shortest, Jesse, while the rest of us think, I'm going to let you go first since you've only been on one road gig with us, (laughs) Swansea and Kill Tony Mania. I'm going to let you go first. Well. But I feel like I know the answer, right? With Kill Tony Mania? Or oh, no. Swansea? Swansea? With the limo? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't think it gets, I mean, that's one of my craziest experiences yeah. on the road. The was, limo and the lobster. And <laughs> it was just like, we might as well shit. have been wearing monocles the entire time. And the free hot chockey. Free was, hot chockey. Have we yeah. talked about it, that we took a limousine through the McDonald's drive-thru? Oh, yeah. I think got, I may have mentioned that last week. But it was such the a The limo was so trip. long, you, it, it the driver couldn't it. hear what Tony was saying. He had to keep going, what? I can't hear you because it yeah. was the limo so long and they, they just closed all the mcdonald's in the uk yikes isn't that crazy the london bridge is falling down they're calling the uk Ugh. Uh, brian we went to mcdonald's in australia together right were you yeah. there yeah that hey, was... look at hey look at this ladies and gentlemen Whoa. michael lair is joining us live michael can you hear hey. us all right hey yes. you getting sound from michael you guys hey, got it yo, in your headphones? Sound. Can we get it in the, uh, in the speaker? Uh, Hold on, Michael. We're trying to get sound for you. Everything's good. How about now? Can you talk now, Michael? You sure it's my, my fault? <laughs> no, it's not your fault. What's up, Michael? We got you, buddy. Looking good. Oh, my God. <laughs> God keeps kicking me in the dick. <laughs> oh, look. Um, uh, I want to make plans for my afterlife, all right? Mm-hmm. I don't want to be cremated. 
I want to be half and half. <laughs> A lot of my fans are lactose intolerant. All right? And also, please make sure my tombstone reads, What a waste. <laughs> Ever using condoms. Shouldn't want raw dog every time. What <laughs> <laughs> uh, came. And look, make sure I, all my organs are donated to science. Not all of them, just my huge cock. <laughs> I want to pay it forward to a healthy yet small cock person. <laughs> what's, uh, what side do you want to get cremated? Do you want your top half or your bottom half? Um, top half. Let wow. the third leg swing, baby. Hell yeah. Absolutely. Michael uh, Lair coming in guns a blazing. <laughs> Oh my God, it's awful. I miss going to comedy open mics. They're a great place to get advice on food stamp fraud. <laughs> <laughs> Look, uh, my social security barely covers my needs, so I'm going to are drug running. My chair only goes six and a half miles per hour, so FYI, that's how fast your drugs will be run. <laughs> wow. Slow weed over here instead of speed weed. Are you all stocked yeah. up? Are you all stocked up? Do you have all those things you need? Toilet paper, pee bags, whatever you need? No. <laughs> <laughs> I am nothing. I am nothing. But it's alright. Look, I'm gonna make sure that I still get through pilot season, even in the pandemic. I have several self tapes to do. I'd like to practice right now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do, do, right. do you want to run some self-tape auditions? Go right ahead, Michael. Yeah, I see. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right, this first one is for a spin -off to uh, This Is Us. It's called This Be Them. Oh, wow. And Everyone in this show is in a wheelchair. It's gonna make history. Wow. All right. All right, here comes the self-tape read from Michael Lair for the movie This Be Them. <laughs> hey, if we're all in a wheelchair <laughs> and can't walk, it's like we all can walk. It seems, thank you. All right, this next one, wow. this next one wow. is for the reboot of Blossom. Oh, wow, there's a it's, rebooting yeah. Blossom? Yeah, it's called Flowered. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> and what, what role are you reading for in this, Michael? I play the neighbor with Down syndrome. Oh, okay, perfect. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's see the read. All right. Yeah, I took care of the baby. I know. <laughs> I know. Take care of babies. <laughs> <laughs> and see, uh, uh, oh, and one more thing. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> All right, what's the third uh, one? Uh, it's um, a reboot of the Cosby show. Oh, okay. Uh, this is good. Uh, yeah. 
It's called Prison Break. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right. I'm playing um, Inmate Name Wheelchair number five. All right, beautiful. Here's the read, uh, Michael Lair, for Wheelchair Person number five. Well, Mr. Cosby, I think there has to be a road to redemption for everybody. Man, I'm feeling sleepy. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see. Wow. Oh, man. That one felt the best. I think I got him on one take for all of them. Um, wow. You, I would book you for all three of those roles, and no one knows roles more than a man in a wheelchair. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, I fucking love you. You holding up all right through all this? Yeah, I like it because um, I've been living the plague life for years and yeah. years, so this is normal. Hell yeah. Yeah. And especially since the weather has been so bad in Southern California, I haven't even noticed there's a plague yet. Yeah, it is crazy how absolutely horrible the weather has it's been insane. in Los Angeles. It was 35 this the other day. Thing. It's March. Yeah. I mean, the temperature is one thing, but I mean, I wouldn't even mind that if there was sunshine. There'll be like a glimpse of sunshine for a minute, and then like an hour later, just a downpour. It's like the Truman Show. It's like the weather's trying to keep us in, too. Yeah. Yeah, there's some mystical going on. Yeah, it really is. Well... It's Mike. all right. I like it, though. You know, everyone gets a taste of my medicine for a while. <laughs> You're damn right, Michael. How you been doing? You all stocked up on weed? You have enough weed to survive for a little bit? Yeah, I'm good on weed, but um, my nurse slash girlfriend, she only bought me 12 beers. And oh. those went real quick. Well, you, you could order it from Postmates, man. you know. Michael, I'm going to drop you yeah. off something tomorrow. I'll drop you off some beer and wine tomorrow. I'll come by. I'll text All you. All right, awesome. That definitely won't be happening, but I <laughs> No, I promise. I'll do it. I'll be there. No, for sure. We'll make sure that you get some uh, some rolling rock. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I could use some Clydesdales, like for the Budweiser. Oh, right. what? What? what the hell? He's talking about the Budweiser Clydesdales, <laughs> their horses. Oh, yeah, you exactly. You know, uh, 12 packs of Corona are 11 cents right now, so uh, they're not doing too good. Bullshit, I went to the 7-Eleven, the Corona fucking spritz seltzers. They're charging full price for that. I thought wow. they would at least be a discounted price. Everything's regular price, I noticed, because there's nothing left. Yeah. And people got to get that money somehow. Well, Grocery stores must yeah. be making a shitload of money right now. Michael, is oh, there any... Yeah. Is there anything else we should know about until we see you again next week? I'm just happy to be a break from the comedy store because it's fun. But I think Sam, Sam Tripoli has been hazing me. <laughs> Bro, how's he been hazing you? Well, he'll go hey, come do a show. And I'm like, what date or time? And he'll be like, see you then. <laughs> and then I go, no, Sam, I'm in a wheelchair and I have to plan better. And he'll go, catch you later, Michael. <laughs> and then I'll show up and he'll go, why are you here so early? <laughs> yeah, that's Sam for you. He's a wild one. 
he's a, he's a he's a yeah. great uh, he's a great leader though amongst uh, amongst all of us. He's a great big brother to everybody. Keeps an eye on everyone. First guy to ever take me on my first road gig. Me too. No Besides shit. You. Yeah, <laughs> took me down to La Jolla with him just to do little five minute sets. Uh, almost thirteen years ago. Holy cow! Damn right. All right, Michael. Well, we love you, pal. We're going to check back in with you next week, and we will see you soon. Stay powerful. All right. Thanks, guys. Love you, too. Bye-bye. There goes the great Michael Lair, everybody. And now we're going to uh, switch things up a bit. All, out of all of the great cast members, uh, 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 there's been a lot of amazing characters that have joined the band over the years and uh we actually were lucky enough to be able to book one via uh teleconference i believe is the word video conferencing um we are going to go live with the great kid rock everybody kid are you there wow here he is it's kid rock oh my, my name is kid Wow, Kid Rock, are you are you're you have an entire audience of people behind you. Are you are you still performing yeah, live? Yeah, still performing, brother. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Gracious. Yeah, me and some of my closest friends here in Fort Wayne, Indiana. My God, I mean your fans, literally. They're rabid. Look at them. <laughs> I mean that's incredible that you can still get a huge audience. Your fan base is so loyal, they literally ignore pandemics to come and see you. Loyal to the soil, loyal to be foiled, you know what I'm saying, brother? I actually really don't understand what you're <laughs> yeah, saying at all there. Man. <laughs> wow, so kid, what, how is this pandemic? Dude, I've had coronavirus for two weeks, brother. <laughs> how do you know? What are your symptoms? All of them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All of them? I threw your picture away. <laughs> My God, yeah, Kid man. Rock! Hey, calm down back there. Yeah, they are. Uh, they are really excited. It's amazing that you would make that audience wait while uh, while you talk to us. <laughs> you look like you've been hanging out with the Tiger King, dude. <laughs> yeah. yeah you do. We look like, like that. that guy dude? Is so oh. Weird. Well, yeah, I'm a big uh, I'm a big fan of the the big cat family, man. <laughs> Panthers, jaguars, tigers, Pussy. lions, and yeah. Man, shut up. Let me do this, man. God. You have a weird fan base. Look at look at the front row behind you. Look, look, you have a black lady dressed up for like church or something. Yeah, right we got there. one of them. Yeah, yeah. You, you got, got one black lady. Yeah, yeah. My yeah. goodness. Wow. They are patiently waiting for you. It appears as though <laughs> you've made everybody wait. wear. They have breathing masks, but they are all on their uh, chest. They don't even have them on right now. What is now. that? Those things behind on their chest. They're little boxes. Oh, these are those are defibrillators because oh. I gave everybody in the audience coronavirus. Rock and roll yeah. for sure, my friend. Yeah. My goodness. So have you been uh, still hooking up with chicks? Normal after party life for you? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, I haven't seen Cheryl Crow here in a little bit, but... Yeah, you know, chicks are a little bit weird about Tinder right now and stuff like that because, you know, they don't want me coming over to their house and stuff and bringing in the coronavirus and stuff like that. Wow. My God. So, yeah, let's just say I'm hitting a little bit of a dry spell right now, Tony. <laughs> oh, but you look better than ever for having coronavirus. I mean, I see your abs there. Wow, they just Whoa. appeared. <laughs> Once I said you look better than ever, magically the abs came out. My goodness gracious, you have pectoral muscles. Yeah, man. Oh, wow, look at the move. Yeah, man, I've been, I've been lifting a lot lately, man. Ah, man, an American badass. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, wow. It's pretty cool, man. Hey, you want any of my cassette tapes? I got like a truckload of them, man. Yeah, I'd actually uh I'd actually love some cassette tapes. Um I I would I will take anything from you, Kid Rock. That sounds like an incredible adventure just to have cassette tapes from Kid Rock. I've been a fan for a long time. And uh I w I don't have, I have nothing to play them on, but I will totally take uh cassette tapes from you. Heck yeah. Any concert you want to come to, you VIP, Tony. I love that. Well, thank you so much. And I'm totally going to take you up on that offer without a doubt. My goodness. Kid Rock, do you have any older family members that uh, you've been in contact with that might be 
that might be in danger. I killed my nana. Wait, what? You killed your <laughs> yeah. nana? Yeah, I killed my nana. I didn't. Uh, I didn't know how serious this thing was. And then, like, I went over there. She fixed me like some warm apple pie, and I coughed uh, just like because I had something in my throat. And then, yeah, she ended up dying from the Rona real quick after that. Oh. Wow, my goodness. Oh, we had a little bit of an oh, audience my, my, there. Uh, my audience didn't like that one. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, they're turning on me. Wow. Oh, man. My mom's a huge fan. Could you do a shout-out to Kim Johnson in Arizona? Hey, what's up, Kim Johnson? I'll eat your pussy any night, any time of day. I love you, straight up. Your daughter's great. Wow. We've got a big crowd reaction there. They didn't move much, but they appear to be... Oh, oh wait a second. Oh. Kid, Rock, Kid Rock, who are these, who oh. are these people? Oh. oh, these are my friends. How'd you do that? Uh, don't worry about that. I, 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 sometimes, I forgot to tell you... Uh, if I like w- years ago when I was a little boy, people asked me if I could have one mutant superpower, what would it be? And I said <laughs> Nightcrawler, and guess what? That wish came true. <laughs> I, I, I just teleported, y'all. This is actually okay. That's, that's is that little, foghorn or leghorn, uh, dude? <laughs> man, shut up, dude. You keep stepping on me over here, man. What the? Who the hell are you, man? I keep hearing this, dude. I can't even see that. I can only see Tony where I'm at right now, man. Oh, sorry, I'm stepping on on. Uh, Darius's beard over that's, there. That's Darius? Darius? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's Darius right there. That's Darius. And then... <laughs> and, and then that, that, that's Curtis right there, yeah. Oh, my God. And yeah, that's Curtis and that's Darius right How there. long have you known these guys for? Oh, man, they raised me just like in Mowgli and Jungle Book. The wolves raised them. These were my two wolves, man. That one guy looks younger than you, though, than on the right. Man, time is just a construct. <laughs> Yeah, this is pretty wild, man. So that guy next to you appears. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, uh, I don't know where the hell they. He took your hat. They just got way bigger. I mean, wait, I honey, the shrunk myself. What's going on here? I think Darius is trying to say something to you. He's grabbing your butt. Oh wait, what's going on? Oh my goodness, Darius. What's he? Darius. What's he? Darius. He's behind you. Darius. Oh, he's looking right at you. Darius. Yeah. Do you have anything to tell me? Oh, he's just a machete, dude. Oh, what the? (laughs) Well, uh, Kid Rock, (laughs) this is... Oh, they're laughing at you. Oh, no. (laughs) Are you farting? He's laughing. I think they're able to hear the screen. Wait, is this guy having sex with me? What's going on here? Oh, Oh, man, get it out of there, man. Come on, Curtis. What are you doing, man? Get out of there. I just performed in front of a live concert. What are you doing, man? Oh, Oh. this party's out of control. Oh, this is wild, man. My God, you really are like the Tiger King after all that. Detroit! My goodness. Well, Kid Rock, thanks for uh, thanks for conferencing in. Always a pleasure. Yeah. Nobody rocks harder than you, pal. You're a big part of the Kill Tony band. Having you on anytime is always a pleasure. It was a pleasure to be here. Thank you so much for having me on Kill Tony and I. God bless America. Wow. There he goes. The great Kid Rock, everybody. <laughs> Representing America. <laughs> Look at that. Incredible. Wow. This is Kill Tony under quarantine, completely breaking our normal format. <laughs> this, this guy, wait, this, Whoa, he's talking. this guy's out of control. Like Mike, William. He's trying to, hey, what are you doing That's what I thought there? William's dad Where'd looked like. Where did go? Wow. All Incredible. Right. Kid Rock. I mean, I bet not a lot of podcasts have Kid Rock showing up on them. I mean, that's just the type of uh, that is just the type of exciting stuff that we have happening on this show, and uh, yeah, I mean, wow. He looked like Courtney Love and Kurt Cobain combined. Yep, beautiful. L 13s locked in. I'm gonna wait All to right. see if Jeremiah Joe comes Bird back just before stole that. Joke from two weeks ago. What? Did do that? I did. I did, oh, that. did that. <laughs> what joke? Right, I never listened to you. <laughs> <laughs> what joke was it? He looks like Kurt Cobain and Courtney Love at the same time. Oh, wow. I thought it was remember an, that, an original thought when I said it. That girl that was on stage, though, she was like an older oh, lady. Yeah, but yeah. Very interesting. Oh, yeah. I remember the stage. Beautiful. 
Beautiful stuff. Shout out to our friends who are helping us with this over here at Better Box Studios. Yeah, the great, great Gage Tyrena and uh, the unbelievable Macaulay Culkin, everyone. Yeah, yeah. That's what he's up to now. Follow them on social media. Gage Tyrena, G-A-G-E-T-I-J-E-R-I-N-A. And at Strange Taste underscore. Jeremiah, where are you? All one word, Strange Taste oh, underscore. Kid Rock, you idiot. I just had some Vito's pizza. It was great. I love What's it. Up? What happened? Jeremiah had a bite to eat. Kid Rock joined the show. You missed, you missed him. The what? legendary Kid Rock. Oh, man. He's one of my favorites on the show. But I'm glad that you're back because one of my favorites, another one of the regulars on this show, is, uh, is here and is going to be video conferencing in. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the great David Lucas, everybody. Here he is, live in the flesh. Music's playing for David Lucas. Yeah, it's still playing. Hey, David. It's still playing. All right, what up, there he what? is. David Lucas, hey, everybody. Hi, David. What's up? What up, dog? Are you still stuck in New York? Yeah, I'm currently quarantined in Tony's booty hole. Oh, are you starting with me already? David, don't look behind you. There's a tarantula on your head, dude. <laughs> hey, Joe Berg, shut your uh, Mexican dead president looking ass up. Shut your fucking 99 cent store Keenan Thompson fucking looking ass. Jeez, my God. I think that tarantula bit you, bro. Your lips are swelling up as fast as can be. Look at those fucking things. That looks like Tony, cheap. I can't see your face, but I know you got the bird flu. <laughs> yeah, the bird flu's going around. This guy thinks I'm a bird every week for some reason. Bird, bird flu versus burger flu. Uh, Tony wow. got Tony oh got the peacock pox. Your lips look like absolute floaties. Those floaties the kids put on their arms to keep them to keep them from sinking in a pool. I said your lips look like floaties. <laughs> <laughs> you look like you look like one of them sticks that they make young kids find in the bottom of the pool. Oh. <laughs> can, can I just say that since David is FaceTiming in, I feel like we're a part of a conversation that happens between Tony and David before bed every single night. Yeah. Like they FaceTime each other and, and roast each other right yeah. before bed. Yeah, yeah. This is how we fall asleep at night. <laughs> <laughs> Some Tony got to fall asleep with a warm glass of milk. Oh, oh, come on. Not all of us. I mean, and I get the warm glass of milk from milking you. Because you're a cow. I <laughs> 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 to really oh, spell shit. that one out for you. <laughs> <laughs> spell it out for the rest of the room. My goodness. No, you look great, dude. A lot of people, a lot of people like to make fun of you, but I think you look absolutely better than ever. Uh, are there calories in that vape pen? No. No. All right. What so your vape at? I need to take <laughs> What was that? What your vape at? I know it's latex flavor. Oh, my oh God. My Why God. would you say that? <laughs> that you, you got me there. Absolutely. You got me. So you're in New York. How's that going for you? You went out there. You had some gigs. And then the gigs turn into podcasts. Man, you know what's crazy? Huh? Yeah, bro. Out of the five podcasts I was supposed to do, I was only able to do one because everybody fucking paranoid. Well, New York's going to be hit the worst, they're saying, because yeah. everyone's stacked up on top of each yeah. other. There's nowhere to really go, so everyone's going to get it. I will say this. Uh, New York people are more sensible than L.A. More sensible? Yeah, like, like L.A., like people were like hoarding, and like in L.A., people are like, buying shit like they got sense like there's actually stuff on the shelves and stuff oh huh they're buying in moderation basically right they're acting yeah. like humans yeah yeah the actual humans yeah also when you were in la that was the initial rush i think there's a lot more restocking going on than there was mm. uh they weren't prepared for that uh, a week or two ago i've been going every day the only thing that's you go every day <laughs> i live right next door to a grocery store why would you go every day I, I live right next to a grocery store i just want to see what they got i live next to a grocery store too did you realize that we that is that is the opposite of a quarantine yeah but uh, <laughs> but like there was certain like, it's gotten way worse. There's no like there's little things like uncrustables. Dead I, could, I got uncrustables the other day. 
But like, there's no like noodles or rice or paper towels. Oh, no. We know who you're buying for. <laughs> <laughs> no noodles and rice. Red Man's like, I go to the grocery store every day. No noodles, no rice. No bok choy. <laughs> Red Man, I tell you to get the two things there. Uh, noodle and the rice a poo. Red right. Man got a freezer full of beer battered fish. Ew, I don't eat fish. You don't eat fish. I don't like fish much. Right. Unless it's sushi. It's got nutrients That's in it. That's why. <laughs> fish has vitamins and minerals. That nigga only won't fish if it's swimming around in vodka. <laughs> I love it. So, how, how's it, uh, so you've only done one podcast. So what are you at? A hotel? What was that? You're at a hotel? He's got bad connection. Yeah. Bad connection. What? What? Uh, oh, shit, no, you're okay. That's Red Band being Red Band. Um, right. So how's this been going for you? You're just there with what? Your laptop and the regular cable television? Yeah, I, I, I ate all my quarantine food. Oh, my God. You <laughs> ate the first all your quarantine hour. food? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I had a fucking two-week supply, nigga. That shit ain't even making four days. Jesus. <laughs> That's why Red Band's nah, going every day, too. I, I leave in the morning. I go to my mama's house, and then I'll be back at L.A. Friday. All right. Beautiful. So I'll be on Kill, I'll be on Kill Tony Monday. Oh, beautiful. Oh, freshly traveled. Bring it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Going over Bring your juice. Yeah, great. <laughs> Can't wait for you to come back. <laughs> oh, man. I wish I could find my mask. I'll put that shit over to do the podcast with it. Oh, my God. Did you get to have that date with the little white girl in the Empire State Building? It's nah, a King Kong joke. Like I'm a taco truck, nigga. <laughs> I don't know. I look at your hair and all of a sudden I want black licorice for some reason. It's because his hair kind of looks hey, like black home. licorice. Oh, that's why. Okay. Nigga. All right. Well, this is a, <laughs> this is an exciting, right. exciting oh time. <laughs> David, anything else? Uh, anything else we should know about uh, about you before uh, seeing you next week back here on Kill Tony? <laughs> Tony, what's in your quarantine closet? I'm in the quarantine closet, David. <laughs> let me let me steal your punchline from you. I'm in the closet, David. <laughs> yeah, David I <laughs> am a gay man in the closet. I'm gayer than the Tiger King. David, I heard you're Lizzo's little brother. <laughs> what? Something like that. No, for real, Tony. Like, what'd you stock up on? I I have a bunch of stuff now. I, I literally booty cream. live. Wait, what? I said, dildos and booty cream. It's me. Dildos and booty holes. <laughs> Latex flavored vapes. Um, hey, y'all niggas stupid. The, bro. I have candles that smell like men's mustaches. I have. Um, I have. Uh, what else? What else is manly? I. Tony have... got a booty cheek throat. <laughs> Oh, a what? booty cheek throat? I do have a booty cheek throat. I have a booty cheek throat? A <laughs> uh, cheek throat. Oh, shit, man. Oh, uh, what's it called? Throw blanket? What's that shit called? Are you on Wi Fi? Are you on cricket? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hold on, let me take it off. Let me just use my A <laughs> Boost Mobile, where are you at? Where are you at? <laughs> Those antennas on top of your head are not working at all, David. <laughs> you look like Walk the Jewels right now. <laughs> all right, there goes David Lucas. We'll drop that call with David. There's, there's some music from the band. There you go. The amazing Kill Tony band, the best damn band in the land. If you're uh, if you're in need of any <laughs> musical <laughs> wants or needs, make sure you go check out the Reagan and Watkins debut album. Oh, Reagan and Watkins, yeah. self-titled album, huh? Congratulations to uh, oh yeah, Pat. Pat. Oh had yeah, a baby. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's having babies. No better time <laughs> to have a baby than now. Yeah, um, best it, time. Congratulations to yeah. the first ever band member, band leader, Pat Reagan. Uh, adding a new member of the Kill Tony family. That happened fast. Yeah, very cute. That's my boy, Daddy Reagan. <laughs> Daddy <laughs> Reagan. Check out, uh, go to Spotify, look up the baby boys. We got a new video coming out soon, this week probably. Did he have a baby boy or a baby girl? Baby girl. Her wow. name's Isla. Yeah, she's she's beautiful. I've been oh. around. Might be the god. I'm gonna be the godparent. I said might, but I gotta talk to a priest and. 
You have to talk to a priest before? Yeah, because I, I wasn't... Like, uh, does the kid need an exorcism? No, I didn't. I didn't have... Ay, <laughs> mio. That's racist. First of all, you're canceled. Uh, I don't... Uh, no. I didn't have my confirmation, so I got to get that done before I can uh, legitimately be the godparent. That, but is that a get real the law? fuck out of here. You have to pay more money to the church. That's no, they're going to do it for free. Oh, yes, wow. You can just go to a lawyer. Okay, cool. I'll shout out to the all the lawyers out there. If anybody out there can get me confirmed tomorrow, hit me up. Red Band uh, with his godfather knowledge. Very interesting. Literally oh. the godfather to no child ever and in And he's the never history. seen the godfather. <laughs> I've never seen the godfather. The However, he does eat godfather's pizza almost weekly. <laughs> okay, shout out to godfather's pizza. In Ohio. In Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get it freeze-dried and shipped every yeah. week. <laughs> All right, well, let's keep it moving along here. Fun times. Everything's, everything's hanging. You want to go to the bucket yeah, for a little question? Let's do it. Okay. Good to know. We have uh, another one. Oh, I read that last week. Some of these uh, ended up going back to the bucket from last week. Cause... Jupiter and Mars. Very good. So, okay, this is an interesting one. It, it's it's a long question, but let's keep it shortened. Uh, favorite and least favorite character ideas you've ever had from your perspective, not from mine. I feel like the listeners know what mine are. Of course, the puppeteers, the insane people, <laughs> the insane puppeteers. Um, really, anything that's annoying. The gym rats, did you love that? Is that <laughs> gym rats I love. <laughs> the gym rats I loved because I could tell you guys hated them so much. Yeah. I, why? Sure. Why did they you look like so koalas? Much? Like, oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> It even look like fucking. You had teddy bear, oh. teddy bear ears instead of like what you would think a a, a mouse. Oh, ear, right? you guys looked ridiculous. You guys looked adorably ridiculous, oh, like little ears. children. I know what ears you have an answer? I'm thinking. I mean, Joel. we know what the favorites are. Those are all on the calendar. It just hit me right now that like you know I know Jeremiah's worst one was when we did chefs because for some reason, not not the celebrity chefs. We revisited right. that. First time we did chefs, Jeremiah decides he's going to be a Jamaican chef, mm -hmm. and he just had the, the roughest time. But I think that was probably your least favorite from, from the get-go, right? Would yeah. You... I was asking you yours so I could look up some of the oh, other Oh, mine characters. was uh, – I don't know, man. Uh, probably anything that's, like, two-dimensional legitimately, like, that doesn't have a point of view where it looks really good. Like, I was Blanca from Street Fighter, and it looked great, but it's like, what do you say after you – just look great as Blanca. You have no perspective. Right. It's a video game character. That is a tough yeah. one. That was in what? Swansea. No, we did. No, I wear the same wig. But uh, oh. yeah, no, no, no. We did that. That was the, actually that brings me. Oh, no, no, no. That but that's when you're supposed it. to make your own story. Like, you know, Blanca no, I know. Has, I know. Uh, it, you know, Crohn's disease or something. Yeah, it took me a while. That's true. It took me a while. Jeremiah taught me this was like a lot of the best characters that we've had. You have to have a really clear point of view. And I think that. When, when we first started, uh, I wasn't very, like, I wasn't well-versed in that, so I would just sort of rely on the costume. And so now I try to find a point of view. Um, one of my, and it was one of my favorite moments to do, but it was a lesson that I learned, uh, was when we actually did the Legion of Skanks episode. Um, there's I, I, I kind of realized that that night, there's a reason why on SNL, why on, they did specifically do it on weekend update for about five minutes tops because yeah. there's something magical that kind of wears off about the gimmick of doing an impression for a person so when i did big j for the full 90 minutes to two hours it felt like it gradually kept getting more and more watered down and you feel trapped at that point so that for me like the initial first half hour i was like this is great the last hour i was like there's no escaping this. There's like, you know what I mean? The pops literally got less and less as the show goes on because the gimmick is is done. Yeah, that's an interesting one. Did you feel that way about uh, Joe Rogan as well? Nose no, Rogan? because we did that. The we did a best of uh, with the characters that night where I was literally ah, Joe for right. only ten to fifteen minutes. That's right. So I got to basically do 
get the big pops and go out on a high note without it, it tapering off. So that so that episode was kind of like a good like uh, thing to reflect on and go back to because we did it. We got out like as quick as we got in on those. Thank goodness, Jesse, you have a least favorite character yet? <laughs> Not, I, I don't right now because I. You know, I'm so new. I like all of them, but I think the most challenging was when we played blind people. I was going to say that, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which I ended up being Phyllis Watkins to kind of paint like a story behind it. But yeah, when we were like before thinking, oh, it's going to be Phyllis, it was like, okay, well, who is this blind person? You know what I've <laughs> noticed? That anything in front of the eyes is bad for for me as far as I, I, like eye contact is so important. I, I ended up loving those characters. I always. For the most part, with certain for, for for a lot of characters, I find that uh, eyes are gonna be funnier than like an obstruction. Yeah. For the most part, there's always exceptions and stuff if the, if it goes really well with the character. But I don't know. Huh. Very fun stuff. We have uh, did you say B nines ready? B nine, beautiful. Uh, very exciting stuff. Golden ticket winner. From Phoenix, oh, yeah. Arizona, many time appearances, probably holds the record for most appearances by a golden ticket winner. All the way from beautiful Phoenix, Arizona, we have the great Tristan Bowling joining us, everyone. Hey. Hello. Hey. Here's some music hey. for you, Tristan. Hey. Hey. Among the stars. Hey. Step back hey. from... Oh, hey, Tristan Bowling. How's it going, my friend? It's going fucking dope, dude. I'm chilling out in my house. Of course, things. Of course, you're so hip. You're so cool. You're on the Wi-Fi. The sound is perfect. All these other people struggling. Of course, you're gonna be dialed in. You you are. This is why you are a golden ticket winner. You're white. Friend. You've got a good internet connection. Wide screen. Your bills are paid. Point nine. All the things we need. That's right, Tristan. You are just a freaking winner pal thank you how are you guys doing in la we're hanging in there we're, we're doing things like this to be able to survive past the time enjoy ourselves a bit doing something other than laying on our fat asses fuck yeah dude how about you how's the quarantine going you with moms and pops uh yeah yeah i'm chilling at the house i got grandma behind me get it it's oh my God. Hey, hey grandma <laughs> <laughs> she's looking thick dude yeah grandma's dude, got that tony hot. yeah grandma's got that tony hinchcliffe bone structure going on back there bony hinchcliffe, oh, bony yeah. hinchcliffe the golden bony um oh. wow so Tr how is your grandma doing you your grandma does live with you guys yeah she's like the only person who i wish was sick but <laughs> she just keeps fucking kicking dude yeah she's unstoppable she she's Pounding glasses of wine, having the time of her life. I think that would keeps her body sterile. Yeah, yeah. Just that all that sense. goddamn Chardonnay. That makes sense. Red Band, you been drinking during this? Uh, the last two days, I, I, I for like a week I didn't drink, and I was like, you know what? I don't know why I'm not drinking. Like so it's, what, it's so weird to drink. What are you at drinking home? at home? Now? Uh, <laughs> last night I had two Tito's and. Uh, orange juice. Ooh. You and make then, them strong? Comedy ooh. store strong? Yeah, yeah. Root. It's more like martinis. Martinis or Martinis. Whatever. Okay, Johnson. Uh, martinis. And the night before, I had some Jack and Diets. But, like, I forgot, like, oh, I'm allowed to drink. I don't have to wake up for anything. Why am I not right. drinking? Right. I usually don't drink at home. It, it feels weird drinking at home. Right. right. Same. I yeah. agree 100%. Yeah. Yep. I've, uh, I've been cracking a little bit of uh, red wine. I bought a six-pack of beer just to be reminded Whoa. how much wow. I can really What kind of beer? What kind of beer? Wow. Fancy. What kind of beer was it? What was it? I got it. No, I got it from this fancy uh, French market near where I live. Oh. Oh. Surfboard. Surfboard. Grain on that wood. Oh, man. Big Dick Tony. And it's some fancy, uh, I think it's like fancy German beer. Tastes oh. Tastes absolutely horrible. I hate it. I hate it. Um, I, every single sip, I regret buying it and yeah. drinking it. I just keep, uh, I just keep having uh, one or two a night. Just oh. <laughs> Dude, I've been fucking basting in it the last like nine days. I have just been. You've been drinking heavily. Basting. Kind of, not wow. heavily. I've gotten days where I don't, but you know, you gotta a lot keep of your immune system up, man. You Micheladas, you know. Uh, yeah. ¿Qué, ¿Qué estás bebiendo? 
Estoy bebiendo cerveza mexicana, ah, micheladas. Sí. sí. Ah. One thing I have been doing is I've been smoking a lot of weed also, and I start coughing, and then I start getting paranoid, like, why am I coughing? And then I forget that that's what you usually do when you smoke weed, though. I've been getting a little paranoid. I think we've all gotten paranoid at some points. Oh, yeah, yeah. for sure. Every ache, every pain. If, I, if my foot falls asleep and I start walking, I'm like, oh, my God, that's right. it. <laughs> right. They said soreness is one of the side effects. So Tristan Bowling, uh, what's what been that? happening? What's been what's been going on over there? Give us uh, an update on your life or anything you want to talk about. Uh, dude, my mom is fucking nuts about this coronavirus stuff. Oh, shit. She will not let me leave the house at all. Mm. <laughs> and like when I do, so she'll get like mad and shit like that. But like I have to like make excuses to get out of the house. Real shit. I'm just like drinking beer in my car in the driveway. Wow. You gotta sneak out your window like a baby. Yeah, I gotta tie I gotta tie bed sheets together. <laughs> <laughs> you have a second floor bedroom? Yeah, I'm on the second floor. It, so I can be just like land on top of my dad's chart. <laughs> 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 He's just going out the window. <laughs> I'm just scared of heights. <laughs> right. Right. And uh, heights are also scared of you, my friend. So uh <laughs> tri tri Tristan, uh, how's the rap game been going for you? Anything, uh, anything lately, uh, rapping wise? You've done some amazing raps. Normally, you have rapped on this show and gotten standing ovations and incredible uh, audience reactions. How's that been going for you? Uh, it's been going good. I've been, uh, I've been writing some bars. I've also been doodling around on my guitar and stuff like that, doing oh, that have, fun you stuff. Have a, you have a guitar now. <laughs> yeah, I've had a guitar. Every white, like, young person has an acoustic. Is at, that at true? Least. Yeah. Yeah. It's, Go to Guitar yeah. Center on any day. These oh. poor girlfriends are in there with their boyfriends testing out Ibanez's. I and had stuff. no idea. You write any coronavirus songs or anything like that? Uh, yeah, I did a little bit. You want to hear it? Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, All I right, do. Fuck yeah. I'm busting oh, out. Oh, oh, I'm just so, I'm like so fucking this. mad. I'm so fucking mad that he said Ibanez because that's the exact same type of guitar I have. Hey! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm a white boy to a T. Heck All yeah, right, you are. this is uh, this is called a uh, fuck coronavirus in the tune of House of the Rising Sun. Hey! There was a storm of sunset that sold that good. Comedy. But since the virus had shut down that old store, us comics are going hungry. They've shut down all the open bikes from West Coast to And then it gets into a punk reprise. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Let me see the lyrics. Uh, what's it? Yeah, we got it. All right, all right. Let's go. Fuck the hoes, he's on the sick. Let's get it done fast, let's get it done quick. Cause I miss comedy more than people being healthy. I hate how I'm always stuck inside with my dumb, my dumb healthy grandma by my side. Catch me always coughing in her coffee. Fuck <laughs> the coronavirus. Take a shit inside a tyrus. Coming for your booty like your body pirates. Watch out, it's coronavirus. Watch out, it's coronavirus. Watch out. Wow, Tristan yeah. Bowling, everybody. <laughs> Writing My songs. Thanks, Phil. It's all good. Writing songs, staying creative. You're a warrior yeah. at this time. My goodness. What's the craziest thing you've snuck out of the house to do since the quarantine has begun? 
Um, I went to uh, my friend's birthday party, which is probably a bad idea. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I had a feeling I had a feeling you'd have an answer like that. You were you remind me of these kids that all went to Miami Beach over the weekend. Yeah. Dude. No, it was like we were all hanging out together in a house. Like it was fun. Like if one person sneezed, we're all fucked. But like Yeah, I don't I think don't that's how shit. coronavirus works exactly, but uh but yeah, did you smoke foolery. joints together? Did you pass a joint all around? Yeah, did you smoke joints together? <laughs> yeah. Officer Red Man wants to know. <laughs> Janice, How many did you, you smoke the joint? No, uh, yeah, I, 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 I had my own joints to myself. Not because, like, I didn't want to share. I just don't have money. And, wow. like, I, I took, uh, I was drinking beers and stuff like that. But, like, if I picked up someone else's, I have no clue. So well, as long as you kids haven't it. been smoking any of the reefer, then I guess I'll let you off with a warning. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tristan, you're the fucking man. Stay strong out there. We love you, and we will uh, talk to you soon. I love you, boys and girl. Bye, everybody. Bye. There goes the great Tristan Bowling, everyone. <laughs> Yeah, that's fun. Tristan Bowling, golden ticket winner, winner, Corona dinner. You just uh, had Tristan uh, open up for you a couple of shows, right? When you were last time you were in. Uh... Yeah, he had an amazing weekend of shows at the Tempe Improv. My God, was that fun. Tristan Bowling and Ali Mikofsky, the Jewel Crew, run the Jewels, <laughs> the Vape Pen Army of uh, me, Ali, and Tristan, all three of us jeweling like crazy in there and uh yeah unbelievable shows he went out got him guns a blazing local references galore ali makovsky who's just evolved into an absolute killer no extra words on any of her act smash 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 thank you good night and uh and then of course me you know what i mean so yeah it was so much fun i've had it's been crazy this year has been just absolutely unbelievable not only um, performance wise and stand up wise, but also with Kill Tony, two of our by far biggest shows and uh, sold out massive theaters. And my God, that Venus de Milo ended up being huge in Swansea and Vancouver was 1300 jam packed. Um, and uh, yeah, so crazy time for all of this to hit. But uh, who knows? It could be the. I always, I, every single down tick always ends up turning into something monstrous. So I'm excited to see what uh, what the future holds. I'm excited? I mean, life goes on. The the gigs keep coming. I mean, every day, you know, my amazing agents uh, are rescheduling things and working on things, and everything's still in motion. You know, we I have feel really bad for agents right now. They pretty much. Just got tax season overnight, you know. Like I they, feel bad they, for they, Asians too, man. It's been a rough <laughs> time, you know. That everyone's being racist towards Asians and yikes. Uh... <laughs> hey, William, William, back me up on this. My goodness, okay. you're calling for William. He always says, get my back on this. You guys like know a... Tristan and I used to do mics together years ago in Phoenix? Really? Yeah. I had no idea. I wasn't sure if you knew that or not. Did he ever hit on you? No, we've been good friends like since day one. He's hilarious. And so I would go to this club all the time, and I ran into Tristan. He was 16 years old, and his dad would bring him to all the shows. His dad's cool as hell. I would just talk to him and his dad, and yeah. Wow. And yeah, and you could tell immediately, oh, he's going to be, he was already funny at 16. Yeah. And now, was, I don't know how old he is now, but. Yeah, he's got that amazing knack about him where he just writes and creates and doesn't stop. And, you know, yeah. I, I recognize that in him immediately. Plus the performance, the energy that he brings, everything. He has, he's, he's a total package type of guy. Very, very, very exciting stuff. All right, let's take another question. Or should we, you know what? Why don't we go with our third regular? Can we do that? Ladies and gentlemen, yeah, let's the grab them. <laughs> we, have a, we have a third regular, everybody. Everybody knows them, loves them, a compelling character. We never know 
what is going to happen. Make some noise for the great William Montgomery, everyone. Here he is. You hear that music, you know it's on. Here he is, William Montgomery, everybody. Let me hear y'all make some noise if you got the coronavirus. Uh, that's an impression of me last night. I was actually DJing at an all-black church in Atlanta. I made a horrible mistake in quarantine today. I uh, watched uh, Forrest Gump for the first time. That is a tearjerker. God, when Bubba dies uh, and that scene in, the, scene in the jungle. Uh, I wish Axl Rose would marry Bella Thorne so at least one rose would have a thorn. I actually made a horrible mistake in quarantine. Earlier today, I watched 101 Dalmatians for the first time. But I do, I honestly think I am sick. <laughs> I do, I am not feeling good. Oh my goodness. Wow. I am not feeling good. How are y'all all feeling? Are y'all feeling all right? William, how is this the craziest you've ever looked? There's the cat. There's a hole in your shirt. William, coming, I mean, first of all, unbelievable set. Unbelievable performance. I feel like that would have decimated in front of our usual live crowd at the comedy store. Gino, you're always at those shows. That was just that. He's giving it a thumbs up. What do you think, Gino? Everybody loved it. Charlie from Vito's Pizza, loving it, cracking up. You had everybody up here Charlie laughing. Charlie from Vito's Pizza just vomited up his own pizza looking at William. And then, yes, indeed, I will now acknowledge that, William, you have never looked more insane. I mean, you look disheveled. Disheveled. Like fresh off the set of Bram's Chokers track in the fucking <laughs> really, I love butt haircut that he's got. What the fuck? I don't think I've ever seen you without a hat. Oh my god, William. You look like a crazy man. It's like a David Lynch it's film. A classic move right there when you start laughing. Do the. <laughs> <laughs> wow, William, I love this backdrop. Uh, this I'm is what people so are bad seeing, right? right Just that black background. That is so awesome. William, you look absolutely... really missed that one up. You, you look it doesn't good. look like it to me. It is... What? What are you fucking doing in there? William, you have any symptoms of the coronavirus? My nose will not stop running. Is that true? Yep. My goodness. What else? What else do you have? William is live in studio with us, by the way. We've kept him out in the lobby up until this point. <laughs> who, just... And who has the white claws? Where do those things come from? All I did was smoke Joel, a joint in the him. bathroom... Roll it to him. Do not. Here you go. I'm kidding. Are you Are you well? Can I trust? Can you trust Joel? What did you just say? You heard what I said. Oh, this is. Rebian, please stop. This is always uh, always an interesting part of the interview when you two go at it. Um, so wow, William. Other than your nose running, what else has been uh, going on? Anything else crazy? Oh, uh, what if my uh, feet is yellow? Oh. <laughs> Is that normal? You said you've had hammer toe in the past. Yeah, one of my uh, one of my feet currently is a yellow color, but it's normally like that. Oh, there you go. All right, William, that's fun. <laughs> you now you've taken off work. You've taken work off the whole week, right? Because you've said you felt sick. That really. Uh, well, I am sick. They better. I know they're not watching this, but I am sick. So it's weird you brought that up. Are you really sick, or is this a joke? Look at him. Well, this is what he normally it's looks like. He normally does this thing where he'll... He lies. This is his... <laughs> look what he's doing. Like He's really accentuating. Look at the fucking aerial that, view of his that. head. Oh, my God. That looks like... Look at the, that nightmare. Look at that. It looks like the inside of a cotton candy machine. <laughs> Corona under a microscope. <laughs> like, <laughs> Jack Nicholson's colon. <laughs> Oh Have you ever thought God. about shaving your head, William? No. It looks no, like he did shave it, just that. right that's, down that's the middle. That's the goddamn, that's <laughs> yeah, the goddamn money maker right there. Dude. <laughs> what cuts your hair, a Zamboni, dude? <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> so let's have some fun here. William, you are performing in front of a green screen, and uh, I told you earlier that we might use that for something. And we're going to. You have no idea what's about to appear in front of you or behind you. Um, but uh, we're going to run some things. And you just uh, you react to it. Maybe keep the microphone in your hand. 
and you just react to whatever is going on around you and improvise. This will be a little uh, improv game that you play, William, and you just uh, roll with it. We're going to see what happens here. You let us know what's going on as it's happening. Here, get back on, <laughs> get get back back on the screen. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, that's the, really the only thing. So here we go. Oh, <laughs> where am I? <laughs> Tony Hitchcliffe's house. Where, are <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where are these hot dogs come from? Is, that is what my house looks like. There are just hot dogs. <laughs> what <laughs> is this house? <laughs> so many wieners so many going wieners around. Everywhere. So many wieners <laughs> inside of buns. If you catch my drift. Uh, whose because house is I this? I am a gay man. Seriously, uh, whose house is this? <laughs> Why can't I fucking walk around? Yeah, there's a lot Without of hot dogs. this shit happening, you know I can't eat hot dogs. That's a lot of hot dogs between booty. No, I don't eat hot around. dogs anymore. Okay, is there another? Uh, is there another one we can perhaps bring up here? Let's see what happens. Then. Whoa! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> it's Tristan, Tristan's grandma, dude. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Even the skeleton doesn't really want to touch it. Oh, oh, which one's scary? Oh, like oh, it's coming out. Oh, it's thanks, it's man. still stink. The skeleton's like, this guy looks like shit. Will, William, do the same pose so we can see the before and after. <laughs> I don't think William even has a real skeleton underneath all that. All right, very good, William. How about is there anything? Is there anything else? What's oh! next? What, 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 do, what do we have next for William? Let's see what we have here. Uh, perhaps coming William. up. Next. William, get in there. Oh, look at that! Are you running for president? Let's hear your campaign pitch, William. How's it going? Go straight to camera. <laughs> Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, I told y'all I would not be working at this church tonight, but here I am. I know the coronavirus is going strong right now. I'm one of the premier uh, white DJs for all black congregations of uh, people in Atlanta. Think think William, why do you hold the microphone so far <laughs> over your entire face? Like you almost had it up to your eyeballs on that. <laughs> like, what's going on? <laughs> what's going, what are you hiding? Uh, you don't want to see it. Y'all would really, y'all wouldn't have let me. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, my God. Oh. He's on fire. Hold on. <laughs> Burning the flag. He's going to get a bucket of water. <laughs> <laughs> William, do you even feel any of that? You're, yep, you're... I am super hot right now. Literally. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Looks like that coronavirus fever just got a little bit hotter. It did. <laughs> Oh, there's a. Ooh, it's, it's okay. The ambulance is on it. <laughs> oh, no. Whoa, William. What are you going to do? With, I think Hold this is on. David I Lucas. can't swim. <laughs> <laughs> Am I swimming by right now? Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, that's it's Jeremiah doing a backstroke. Oh shit, we know the we know we know those guys. That Ralph? That, is that Darius? Darius. Wait, Dar Darius and Curtis. Do you know these guys, William? Man, what's going on? Oh, oh. watch out! Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow, this is this just is a hard one. Incredible. This is, I can't figure oh. this one out. Uh oh, he's showing you his stick. My goodness. Wow. William, do you know these guys? I, I don't. Oh, okay. Is there anything else that we have uh, loaded up? <laughs> 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 the skeleton's fire in a <laughs> <laughs> That's all. all right, that's cool. William, um, what are your plans for uh, getting rid of the virus that you supposedly have as of right now? Are you planning on doing anything? Perhaps? I'm planning on not sleeping. I've heard you can literally get it out of your body not sleeping. Oh, that's incredible. How long have you gone without sleeping? I'm currently on 48 hours. Mm. Um, well, you look like shit. <laughs> <laughs> no. Check out the underarm. Oh, on my God. Ah, look at him. Oh, that's like brown. <laughs> that happened today, actually. Why don't you it get was... like a different shirt? Why do you have that shirt on? Yeah, yeah that was bleach? the one shirt to wear on the podcast. Because the shirt comes with that body type. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can just kind of see my belly button in it a little. Is that your? Do you sell merch, and are they all that shirt? It's just the shirt. <laughs> if you want to get on my website, um, 
uh, Peter Mendez. Oh my. I don't know. I'm working on that one. We ever end up with A1? No. Huh. Uh-oh. Get away from me. Um, William, get back in the frame there. Uh, but seriously, uh, what's your current living situation in this quarantine? I'm currently at my uh, place on Alvarado Street. You live by yourself? Three other guys. Three guys. And are any of you guys abiding by this quarantine whatsoever? I thought you were about to ask if any of us are dating. And yes, we are. Uh, No. Have you guys been going out? Have you been staying in? (laughs) Has everybody been listening to the quarantine rules? We have been. We've been playing a a shit ton of uh, Hi-Ho Cheerio, Connect Four, (laughs) uh, Monopoly. Um but no, yeah, we're all we're taking it pretty easy. What it's piece pretty... are you when you play Monopoly? Uh, the the hare. There's not. No. <laughs> there is there, there a rabbit? <laughs> no. Is there not a rabbit? I thought you meant a piece of your. That's what I thought. Yeah. <laughs> that like a wig or something. <laughs> Looks like you're running out of pieces quickly. Uh, it's like an actual Monopoly board. They just keep getting lost. All but right. Yeah, it's pretty. It's a pretty somber time right now. It's a, a really is... somber time right now. <laughs> the guy that makes the amazing uh, graphic art, uh, graphic uh, designs for uh, for a lot of my uh, uh, stand-up shows, including this show, the great Mick Vader, uh, just said that you look like the main subject of a Netflix conspiracy documentary. <laughs> <laughs> Black helicopters. <laughs> <laughs> There he goes, William Montgomery, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, always entertaining. Bravo, sir. Bravo. What size t-shirt do you wear? XL. People, send some... That's good. That's a perfect amount of time to play William off. Uh, listen, people, send some extra large white V-neck T-shirts to yeah. uh, the double comedy X, store. Double XL. And maybe black color. color like, instead of the white one where he shows all his stains. No, I like, I like the white. He's just got to keep them clean. He just can't reuse them. Some anti-perspiration deodorant. Everyone wears black. I like the fact that William thinks outside the box. Speaking of box, better box. There's no better box How than better box. Outside the box. This place is amazing. We got Gage and Anthony Whitlocks. Anthony Gage Whitlocks. Gage Gage and Falcon back there in the. Just absolutely killing it. We couldn't be more grateful. This is a squad that has been put together by. You've heard of them every episode. The great Gino over at Speedweed. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we're having an absolute blast, which is an important thing for us to uh, to get to do. Oh, A1 says she hasn't received a text. Maybe you got the wrong number. Maybe I wrote it down wrong. <laughs> I wonder who it was texting. Um, so let's let me to pull a that. number out of there while you are pull a thing out of the bucket. Um, Why are you texting? I already got one. Let's see. Who would win in a street fight between all cast members? Well, I, that's an interesting question. That is an interesting I one. I have it. the right one here if you want to check it out for sure. Well, we definitely learned it wouldn't be Joel because he lost to William Montgomery in uh, arm wrestling. I was handicapped. I was drumming the whole episode. I was going to say it'd probably be up to me and Tony probably last two. That's what I was thinking. And I think that with your current jujitsu, we uh, we've grappled around a bit. And um, I think with your current jujitsu, I honestly think you might have me. I think that wow. uh, I've seen you do. I've honor. seen you evolve in a way. How long have you been doing it now? Over a year, right? Uh, yes, t- uh, yeah. overall. But I've been at Tenth Planet almost six wow. months, seven the, months. I would say Jeremiah or me. Now, you, you guys not even in the mix. That's like, like I and I'm, honestly, Jeremiah's it's probably a Jeremiah. A slap boxer, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I no. feel like David Lucas would just sit on it. Every oh, well, you would lose. You're not even in this conversation. <laughs> no, I said David Lucas. <laughs> You would beat the oh, shit okay. out of Yeah, I would Try die again. immediately. She said she hasn't received a text or just send her anything. It was like, Chris Try it Jeremiah, again. B- before the slap boxing thing, you had never really, you've never been in a fight before? Right. Because you huh. fucking, it was crazy how um, you just kept looking forward, even when like, sh- that's a hard thing when you're kickboxing and stuff, is like you get hit, people tend to flinch and stuff. You just, 
you had this sort of like front vision, which is like yeah, was pretty uh, kind of incredible for uh, for someone who's never been in like a fight before. They yeah. were comparing you to uh, who was it? Uh, who's the spider? Anderson Silva, <laughs> didn't? <it? laughs> Ari compared, he's like, would you say he's like an Anderson Silva type? Jeremiah murders a lot of people that we don't know That's about. right. He's I a murderer. He had... He's a murderer. Uh-oh. <laughs> Careful. We might edit this out yeah, later. you don't want to do that. <laughs> you can't make him look bad. Got to make him look good. Uh... Yeah, I could see. I mean, yeah, that's what I think the layman, non-athletic person would have you in the mix for sure, Red Band. You would literally die after 30 seconds of any activity Old whatsoever. <laughs> nope, that's not a real thing. Maybe retard strength, but Although uh Brian's got I a can... hell of a RNC, a rear naked choke. Have He's put me in it a few times. Arm it's scary. Wrestled? Yeah, if you huh. let him put it put yeah, right. Have you guys yeah. ever arm wrestled? I, no. No, you don't want to. Red no Band one would... wants to arm wrestle me. I will absolutely embarrass anybody. I will go through every single person. Starting with Jess. <laughs> <laughs> I will go through William, the get back path. here. <laughs> William, you're sick. Get in here. You know what's funny is William barely remembers uh, doing that last week. And the next day on the podcast, Brothers and Cursive, he's like, I didn't know why my arm was so sore. And he, he's like, we well, had to remind was him. He like, that arm blacked out? Was he that yeah, blacked out? Yeah, he doesn't remember drunk? any. Janice, I guess, yelled at him for like 20 minutes. And he doesn't remember any of William it. was trying to close talk to me last week because he was drunk and I kept stepping away from him because you know social distancing and he kept <laughs> leaning in more and more I'm like dude yeah. <laughs> like, back up just a little bit <laughs> I like how we all left him there and he had no ride <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> that was so bizarre. I kept trying to figure out how yeah, to help him. It was, it was we didn't know that. <laughs> didn't know that. Rain. It's like when Brian stole a meal from a starving family. <laughs> oh, dude. What? Can we talk about Wait, that? Wait, what, what happened? I don't, I don't even know. Talk about about that. That. No, we've never talked what, talk about, about what? I've never heard Where about this. Where was that? That was in I San was Antonio. Just in San Antonio. Oh, my what God. Happened? That's right. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> he doesn't even remember. It was beautiful. Wait, I did something? Tell it. Yeah. I got another. Can, can we? Can yeah, we tell that absolutely. Quick? Tell it. <laughs> Wait, I stole something. Yeah. Okay. Well, the funniest part was you were oblivious right. to it. You had no so idea. shout out to Yoni at Best Barbecue on Instagram. He catered uh, oh. our, our green room. <laughs> <laughs> See, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Right. He the- catered this amazing barbecue where we all ate our fill, where we were stuffed. We literally couldn't eat anymore. So much barbecue. So much. So barbecue. much extra barbecue. I believe we had to fly the next day. Yeah. We yes. were we were flying out the next morning. Right. So, so we couldn't take anything with us. We can't us. take anything with us. And our our nice waitress who we talked to just had a recent house fire and she had to, to stay in a hotel with her family for the last two months. And they've been eating jack in the box, she told us. <laughs> Which over. I did not know about. By <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Their house burned down. Not only that, but she has like six kids. And three of them are hers. Three of them are her boyfriends. They're all living The boyfriend's in, yeah. there because he's a diehard Kill Tony fan. She's struggling to make ends meet working at the comedy club. And uh, someone else made cookies. And I'm like, all right, well, let's give the – let's you guys can have these cookies. And then um, there's all this giant amount of uh, leftover food. And Brian put it all on one plate and uh, walked out with it. <laughs> Literally a banquet's worth of food. He's like, oh, I gotta have, gotta have my emergency meatloaf. Basically, we we were all like, we should, <laughs> we, were like, we should let this family have it. Tony is notoriously nice to different staff at different comedy clubs. He's always very accommodating, making sure that they're taken care of. And he went out of his way to make sure that like she got these stacks of plates of food and stuff. Even like that. worse, she was like, wow, this is the first night we're not gonna have to eat like lettuce soup or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like yo, if my kids have been chewing on the walls the last few weeks. So all of us are feeling really good about ourselves, and we're like, "Yeah, we did it." And then Brian goes, "I'm hungry." <laughs> and he grabs a stack of barbecue. He takes enough food. Literally, he's like, "Well, just in case I get hungry four times tonight, this is enough for like six kids, dude." Big family. <laughs> It's like a house fire's <laughs> worth of food right here, dude. What the frick? I could ruin this story, but I don't want to because it's funnier that way. <laughs> what, you ended up giving it to them in well, the Well, no, end? I ended up, when we were eating the barbecue, I didn't eat that much. It we wasn't as good as the barbecue so like, from I'm yesterday. Eat it later. And so I didn't know anything about this, like, waitress and shit like that. And I literally made... 
like a regular plate. They're saying it's a bunch of shit, but I made a regular plate. Regular but the funny plate. thing is I didn't you even... You had to hold it with two hands, I remember. Because you were like walking in front of us. You walked out like a Atlas. a styrofoam container. <laughs> the guy who holds the world on his back. <laughs> Atlas? Are you saying Atlas? Yeah, yeah Brian food? walked out like With Atlas. barbecue? But the funniest thing is I didn't even eat it. I just left it on the nightstand. That's even worse. <laughs> <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't even enjoy yeah. it. Yeah. You just I took a, it and then didn't The kids were yeah, licking like, bones that the night. They're like, like, Mommy, this is delicious. The good Thank news you. is the good news is they ended up getting all the food because they ended up digging in the dumpster at the hotel <laughs> the next day, <laughs> scrounging for food. Oh, Oh god, that's so fucking funny. I forgot about that. Oh my god, we were we were laughing our asses off. And like it was one of those things to where like I think you thought that we were like making like we you didn't we didn't told me by the way. <laughs> yeah, but, one yeah, of you that, kind of just that, didn't wait a second. I, know, I was like, did you, you guys know, tell him? Ryan had no idea. And his by the way, he flicked the waitress off as a joke, and you guys, that's even more ruder than <laughs> I did that. You took the food no, and flicked her was, off. It was way funnier this way. Like though, as hard as we were laughing that night, we laughed that night and the whole next morning about that. Oh. So sometimes it's just worth it. Um. By the Gage. way, black cherry is the best white claw. That tastes like pretty good. cherry Jolly Ranchers. Wow. Things that could have been overheard in uh, Miami Beach this past weekend. The coronavirus, guns a-blazing. Wow. It has been chosen black cherry white claw the best is one. the best of them all. We good on A1, you think? Really? Oh, wow. What a special treat. We are going to uh, go in right now to Kill Tony Legend. Ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only, from Northern California, the great Nicole Tran is now joining us live on Kill Hello, Tony. Hello, everybody. Oh, hello, Nicole. I can't quite see you on our monitor here. Hold on just one second. This is so exciting. Oh, wow. Look at you. Oh, my goodness. Hello, Nicole. Are you on the Wi-Fi? Hello. Are you on the Wi-Fi there by any chance? Wi-Fi, yeah, next to the Wi-Fi. Okay, very good. Wow, You're next you to the it. tower and everything. Are you sending JPEGs every three seconds? <laughs> <laughs> Nicole, 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 somehow you have gotten so much more Asian since the last time I saw you. <laughs> man, I'm doing good, man. I love Stuck it. Stuck in the house. <laughs> I mean, I know. How are you holding up during this quarantine? <laughs> you doing good there? Man, I'm stuck in the house with my mom and my sisters, man. Oh. I am now like a Cinderella. <laughs> except things coming way outside. <laughs> this is like a PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> is that Dude, what we're seeing? This is like a webcam murder movie. <laughs> this is incredible. This is mind-boggling. Dude, the this is like a manga. The, the, the grudge four sucks. <laughs> wow. So, Nicole, uh, a question for you. What type of Asian are you? Are you from China or Japan or? I'm Vietnamese, man. Oh, that's right. Vietnamese. How do you feel about Chinese people, especially now that they have, uh, they have been, uh, according to many, responsible for the release of the coronavirus? How do you feel about Chinese people? It's pretty sad, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a, a universal effects, man. Affects on everybody. Yes, it's true. <laughs> Absolutely. What do you, what do you, what does your sister and mom uh, do for work? Do they have jobs? Do they make textiles or something? No, my sister work for a computer company, sales. That sounds about right. And How about your for in XR? And how about Human your mom? Resources. Oh, okay. How about your oh, mom? My mom, what is she... my mom, she cooks, man. Oh, She's that's... very religious. Oh, what religion? <laughs> at four o'clock. Yes, oh. at four o'clock she prays to the Buddha, man. Oh, wow. She bangs <laughs> the gongs. Heck yeah. At is that right hand real? <laughs> is that a one of your little baby hands? <laughs> Look at that. It just slides out. And I'm sure the Buddha up there saying, I don't get, get up until seven. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Nicole. Incredible stuff. So when's the last time you got to perform stand-up comedy? 
a week ago, man. Oh, I still do the Zoom thing every day. All the comics invited me to do it, man. What's the Zoom? Oh, it seems the like Zoom. a website where it's a bunch of webcams. Video conferencing, so like, like between multiple people. <laughs> oh, okay. What the fuck is that, that makes sense. <laughs> All right, cool, cool. Doing the Zoom. I miss so your show, man. <laughs> I know. We miss you too, Nicole, tremendously. Last time you were on, you I have a new song for you today, man. Uh, oh, you do? Okay, let's hear it. Absolutely. This sounds great. We, we love songs. We love new songs. Here's a new one from Nicole Tran, everybody, live here on Kill Tony Quarantine. Go ahead, Nicole. Somewhere over and see no across the southern land, I fell in love with Tony. I just hope he was his hands. <laughs> okay. That's my new song for you. <laughs> God, you are an absolute little angel, aren't you? You're just a little Vietnamese queen. Can I just say, she's cornered the market on Somewhere Over the Rainbow parodies. Oh, yeah. Well, no one knows corner markets better than Vietnamese people, so. That's a... <laughs> <laughs> Very exciting, Nicole. So uh, have you have you have you put some money aside? Have, did you did you, are you your sister and your mother going to be okay during this quarantine? Are you guys going to survive? Yeah, we are. We Asian. We sell money, man. I love that. That's very <laughs> good. Money. Sell money. <laughs> and you know, That's Tony. Good. A lot of people go to the Costco and store and to uh, look for toilet paper. My ex-boyfriend toilet paper in my house, man. I have plenty. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, out there breaking hearts. Oh, I love that. <laughs> eating. Jeremiah just, eating. just farted into the microphone. Is that true? Did you really? Yeah, you told me to save it from last week. Well, I mean, I thought you would at least. <laughs> I thought you would at least give us a heads up and let us cue it up or something. Red pencil. Leave it to Jeremiah to release a fart while two people are talking at once. Very good. You have the, you have the timing of a guy that only farts during podcasts. Uh, exciting, exciting, exciting. Well, Nicole, thank you for the new song. Is there anything else? Uh, anything else we should know about before letting you go? Oh, the quarantine, man. You yeah. know, Tony, what I do? What? I exercise, man. My How sister you... and I, we, we, we put on the jogging suit before watching TV. Put on what kind of suit? A jogging suit. Oh, a jogging suit. <laughs> oh, jogging suit. I love that. Before love... watching TV. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys are adorable. You guys are adorable. Well, Nicole, we absolutely love you, and we will talk to you soon, okay? <laughs> Thank you. Stay Thank strong. Thank you for giving me time. Bye you bye. got it. You're, you're the best, Nicole. We love you. Bye-bye. Bye. The great Nicole Tran, everybody. There she goes. Yeah. What and a sweetheart. Uh, she is the best. Yeah. We absolutely love Nicole. I mean, she's another one of those people. Just She's just got it. She's got that extra element of especially obviously in live audiences really really knows how to work a room gets them right from the get maintains momentum the whole time really good at using her uh accent and uh asian capabilities to her advantage plays right into all the stereotypes and everything uh let's just jump right into a d5 if you have it loaded up oh okay okay cool all good got another question um, yeah, what's our favorite podcast to Ooh. listen to other than Kill Tony? Uh, Jeremiah's is definitely Jeremiah Wonders. He has a new episode out with um, with Jesse Johnson. Oh, yeah. oh, look at that. Overexposing our sweet little angel already. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> all the mystery and mystique of Jesse's. Probably. I spilled it all. Oh, no. The all beans the have been spilled. Wait, who the fuck is that guy? Who the fuck <laughs> is that? I don't even know that guy. 
Who's that guy? Go- hey, oh, is, that this, guy? Is, this, is this the JPEG? Oh, that's the boyfriend. Oh. <laughs> is that a Nicole Trans oh. place? Oh. 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 I've been uh, I like uh, I've been listening to Hot Boxing with Mike Tyson. It's really good. Oh, wow, it's fucking amazing. How about you, Jesse? Um, King of the Sting. That's a good one. I, my oh. roommate Chappelle is on that now. Yeah, absolutely, uh, killer podcast. Spoil the beans with Derek Poston and Hassan Ahmad. Yeah, that really one's great too. We love those guys definitely. Uh, I like Stevie Weeby a lot. Oh, Stevie I was Weeby. just on Stevie Weeby. So that was cool. fucking loved it. Yeah, what a great guy. He's I the best, dude. dude. Guys, I check love out him. Stevie Weeby. Help how about you? How about you, Red Band? Anybody else? Any other uh, podcasts? Oh. I, I really like uh, everything Tom Segura and Christina yeah. do, do, but my off the ch- like out of nowhere podcast would be called ear biscuits uh if you're a good mythical morning fan it's with Rhett and link and it's just i've chill. been listening to Tom oh, Se- hey there he is hey, Deep hey, dom. the great and powerful dom irare is joining us on kill tony live how you doing dom oh we do hold on we, we just got to get the him. audio tuned up hold on one second keep talking okay, he's, uh, it's on i, his I think end. he has it muted you might have a <laughs> yep. hold on, hold on. We can't hear you, Dom. You you might have us muted. Can you hit a button on there and unmute us? We might be muted there. Oh, it might be the headphones. Can you unplug the headphones? Unplug them from the jack on uh, attached to the thing there. Hello. Oh, it's the, like the opposite of Tristan. Dom Irera, <laughs> you look great. Hold on, we can't hear you. He's sliding. <laughs> he loves us. He loves us. You're like one of those sign language people helping out all these politicians right now. We're oh, working God. on getting Whoa. the sound going. Hold on. Hold on. Wait for us, Dom. Hold on. We're going to get this to work here. If this is your cell phone, you could just unplug it and use your microphone and headphones on your cell phone. Is it a laptop or a cell phone? I don't think those headphones have a microphone. It's a cell phone? Oh, it is a laptop. It was working earlier. It was working. He's doing hacked outs. He's killing it. He he's absolutely being hilarious. However, we are waiting to see if we can get sound. We, we, they had sound earlier. He's making funny faces. That is right. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes he was I, on. Yes. He was on the Golden Girls. I think he's saying. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey Arnold. Out. Hey Arnold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jerk me off, Arnold. Yeah. yeah. He's on, hey Arnold. Did he just spit on his? Hand? He spit on his hand. He's now. We have almost everything in order except for sound. One of the more important things in the podcast and entertainment Such an world. We're so close. Voice. I can feel it, Dom. We're going to have you in here any second. I know it's going to work. Let's see. What could have changed? I wonder what could have changed on their end on the laptop to make sound go away. Should we maybe hang up and then try to reconnect afterwards? Let's try that. Dom, we're going to call you back. We're going to try this again in just a couple minutes. We love you. We're going to check back in with the great Dom Irera. There he goes. The great Dom Irera, everybody. So... We're going to get that tooted up, and uh, in the meanwhile, perhaps while one of you guys work on that, we can uh, perhaps we can queue up. We have another special guest teleconferencing in, I hear, uh, through the grapevine. Um, no doubt about it. Ladies and gentlemen, we, are, we have gotten uh, one phone call, and... Uh, and um, we have gotten this call from a prison. Ladies and gentlemen, we are checking in with Shanks, oh live from prison. Yeah. Here he is. Shanks, how are you doing? Yo, what up? <laughs> wow. They just closed you in there and everything. How's prison going? Yeah, man, man. People freaking out about this quarantine and stuff, man. I've been in quarantine a long time in here, dog. <laughs> oh, shit. What, uh, what prison are you in right now? What part of the country are you in? Yo, Cali State Penitentiary. Oh, what'd you do this time? I was doing some more raping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I I was in a couple months ago for shoplifting, but this time, rape again. Oh, my God. Who did yeah. you rape? Uh, man, this dude's booty hole <laughs> recently. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, he, yeah, he go off, he's not on the record of, uh, you know, saying who he is because he don't want to be embarrassed or nothing, but... Good to see you. <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah. Shanks, that's incredible. Where'd you uh, Where'd you rape this guy at? Uh, <laughs> West Hollywood. Oh yeah, 
Was it in like a grocery store parking lot or something? Yeah, like Ralph. Huh. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a second. Is that the guy? Let me out of here, dog. Is that the guy? Let me out of here, dog. Is that the guy? Oh, that was incredible. I thought Red Bam was going to... Oh, wow. You actually have a shank on you right there. Yeah, man. I'm yeah, so... for sure. Wow. I'm... My God. Did that... Was that... What is that? Red Band's peanut butter knife that uh, fell man, up? I, I whittled this out of uh, uh, of different people's toothbrushes and Chipotle wrapping. Oh, my God. You have... We found out in the past that you tend to use Chipotle wrappers for a lot of things. Oh, you... That's how I got my grill. That's how I got my grill, dog. Huh? That's how I got this set right here. Wow, that's yeah. incredible. So Shanks, uh, we found out today, um, actually there was breaking news, that Harvey Weinstein got the uh, coronavirus. Oh, man, that's terrible. <laughs> Do you know Harvey? Have you ever worked with Harvey before on anything? Oh, uh, I mean, I tried to audition for him and stuff when I was on the outs, but, uh, you know, he don't like uh, people like me, so it's all good, you know? My goodness. What uh, <laughs> what films of his did, what film did you audition for? Was it perhaps one of Tarantino's Titanic, films? Titanic. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Titanic? Yeah. Who were you going to be on oh, the Titanic? Home Alone 2. Oh, <laughs> what? Uh, yeah. Um, Baby's Day Out. Baby's Day Out. <laughs> yeah. Is that a real movie? I've yeah. never even heard of Baby's Day You've Out. You never heard of Baby's Day Out, dog? You got to get on that, man. No. Come on. You, they, uh, the producers in the booth seem to have heard of it. it man, y'all heard of it, right? Y'all heard it? The, yeah. The hip kids, they all know about this. <laughs> oh, man. There's another victim. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. Shanks, incredible. So when are you due out for release or bail or whatever? Uh, I'm on parole in like two and a half weeks. So hopefully this coronavirus will be all chilling and stuff by the time I get out. And then I can go to the beach and stuff. Yo, that's what you're excited to do. You're going to go to the beach. Yeah, but they just close beach parking lots and stuff. And that's usually where I smoke weed and stuff. So, you know, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Well, Shanks, we appreciate you coming in. Um, what would you do if we... Switch places like that movie Trading Places. Like you was in prison and I was hosting Kill Tony. What would y'all? What would you do? Huh? Like if if we switch places, my guess would be that I would be uh, tending to my bloody asshole from getting raped. <laughs> right. Right. So much. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I would be. Let's just say my bunk mate would make me a bottom, and I'm not talking about the bunk. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Dude, you did that, man. <laughs> my goodness gracious. Uh, how do you? What do you think I would do in prison, Shanks? You've been there a lot. Man, actually, uh, I think that you would join a gang, and that you would. Uh, act, you're good at like uh, controlling people, you know. <laughs> so uh, you would actually corner the market on other white people, and then they would exalt you as their savior and stuff like that. And I think you'd be all right, man. You'd be trading ramen and stuff and bologna and stuff like that and you'd be top king in no time I think I would have a lot of raw men inside of me indeed I see what you did there Tony a I, lot. I like this guy man definitely a lot of baloney in my prison a lot of baloney oh. in that Tony you know what I'm saying Come absolutely on, man. Uh, and uh, you are the best, Shanks. We absolutely love you. Uh, you are a person of color, and we appreciate the diversity on this show. Um, I know. It, I'm beige. It's crazy, though. <laughs> we love you, Shanks. There he goes, Shanks, everybody, with his one phone call in from prison. Yo, man, I called. Kill Tony. One phone call. <laughs> That's dog. right. Uh, we love you, Shanks. Yo, I think this mic has coronavirus. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. You're using it after William. Whoa, what the... And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We are rejoined by the great Dom Irera. Dom, can you hear us? Oh wait, now he now it's not working again. If he starts <laughs> masturbating, Dom. 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 Dom, can you hear us? Hello, can you hear us, Dom? He's he's doing hand signals. Hey, Dom. Dom, Dom we can hear you. He's got. What's going on, Dom? Oh gosh, he's got a his. Dom, you look fantastic. Can you hear us? The prop act. <laughs> Dom, can you hear us? It's like Gilligan's Island over there. Now his volume's down. Turn your volume up. Turn your he volume have up. He his headphones on now. Oh, he said, "Can you?" I said, "Can you hear them?" I can't hear them. Um, shoot. 
turn the volume so up on them. So now they can hear you. <laughs> Hello. You can you hear me? We can hear you. Enjoy the show, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's a breath of fresh air, I got to tell you. It's different. <laughs> of course, this guy kills when we can't yeah, hear that, him that, that and when school, he like, can't hear us. Hear each other and talk. <laughs> Dom, can you hear us now? She's my, <laughs> my technician here. I'm sorry. Oh, Jesus. Of course, Dom just has beautiful women working for him you know, day and night. Um, Life. Um, Uh, wow. Here, try it with the headphones. <laughs> try it with the headphones. My guess is those are going to work immediately. Yeah. Hey, Dom. Welcome back. Hi, Dom. How, How you are doing? you? Hey, Dom. <laughs> Can you hear us? Well, yeah. Yeah, I hear you. You're a little loud. You're, you, might, you might turn it up the sound. I find this very annoying ah, ha, ha, ha. well thank you thank you thank you for joining us the great Dom Irera is in the house everybody well I, you know it's a typical Monday night for me kind of avoiding the plague and doing Kill Tony and <laughs> I, I, I remember when I was a kid and I used to watch you guys and and I, I had punchlines remember when I had punchlines I just do set up I do setups now <laughs> wow can we hear one of your uh, setups that you've been working on as of late hey what's up with going to church i mean is it me <laughs> <laughs> thank you oh god you are the best no uh, i used to be when you could hear me yeah no you were you were killing it with you were killing it when we couldn't hear you, and you were also killing it when you couldn't hear us. You, you were doing great on both, all three formats. And now that we can all hear each other, you're still killing it. You know, I promised myself I wasn't going to cry, but you always somehow get me a little sappy. <laughs> now I'd like to do something I've never done before. I'm going to end my show right now. However, oh. remember this, you mother... <laughs> <laughs> yes, Tom. I, wa I was also Bosco Cellini on Boy Meets World, though. <laughs> Don't forget that. <laughs> Boy Meets I was World. in Rugrats, <laughs> and I was in Rocco's Modern Life. Yeah. Now I'm on the Tony, uh, Kill Tony and Break My Heart show. That's right. Golden Girls. Why'd you get that? Seinfeld, Big Lebowski. Uh, yeah, we saw it today. The sequel, the the. Yeah. How was it? Uh, it was good. It was better than this because they had sound all the way through it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it, Dom. Well, I, it's just good to see you and uh, and hear your voice. You're holding up strong through the quarantine. What have you been doing to pass the time? I uh, just rubbing my tongue on everything I can. You know, licking fingers. <laughs> <laughs> I walk on the wild side, home slice. I love it. You certainly do, sir. This is the hottest cam girl I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, it's important to stretch before you do this. <laughs> stretch my car. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Dom, we absolutely love you. Thank you so much for joining us. Such an oh, honor. I, I was in the neighborhood. Stop it. <laughs> we love, love you, Dom. You guys. Thank you love so you much here. for popping in. We'll see you soon. Have a great love night, you too, pal. Man. Love Stay you, buddy. safe. Thanks, the, you great, too. the great bye Dom Irera, ladies and gentlemen. Dom Irera. My goodness, how much fun are we having here? And uh, before we go, do we have a uh, J12? Is that possible? Let, let's link up with J12 and then we're gonna get out of here. Um, so much fun stuff. Uh, I can guarantee you that uh, we're just going to have some more fun next week. We're gonna do this again. I mean, you know, 
clearly once uh, live audiences are back into uh, civilization, everything's going to immediately revert back to normal. We're already rescheduling our road <laughs> dates. We have a blood oath signed with the comedy store that I... Uh, Dom Maybe. doesn't know the Skype is still on and he's uh no, it's okay. He's not on the screen, right? No, he's gone. Oh, I oh. <laughs> um so as soon as everything's back to uh back to normal, our format will go back to normal. But we're gonna keep having fun in the meantime, giving you guys something, giving us something. Well, you know, Jesse actually said it after last week's episode at the ice house she i believe it was you that said i forgot for a little bit that there was a pandemic going on and it i literally it wasn't even until you said that that i realized that i had forgotten that there was a pandemic going on and like that entire time and so it's just sort of fun for us to break the monotony of uh of everything that else that is going on uh oh wow that's j12 if i've ever seen it we are in the lair of ryan j ebelt oh, ryan can you hear us yes yes hi I ryan can. there it is yes, the classic ryan voice of ryan j ebelt showing us tonight's drawing look at this my goodness wow. gracious wow <laughs> <laughs> you squoze everybody in there. Oh, you had it the right way before. Go switch it back to uh, the other way. There you go. Yeah. My God. Can you zoom in at uh, parts? Let's get in there. Let's see. Wow. We got Tristan bowling bottom left. Uh, we got, uh, wow, look at that. William <laughs> Montgomery, even with his updated down to the hair on William. You nailed it. Absolute. That's David Lucas, without a doubt. The great Nicole Tran. My goodness, you did this fast. Wow. Red band looking good. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Tony Hinchcliffe. Look at that guy. Pandemic Tony right there. <laughs> Why do I look like one of the homies? <laughs> those, those, the homie cartoons, dude. Michael Lair with He's those like a Wayne's brother. awesome glasses. <laughs> And yeah, we got Demon Bird. And wow, look at Jesse and Jeremiah. Ryan J, you are a goddamn national treasure. You are unbelievable. Yeah, thank you. And it is mind boggling. And you got a sale going on right now. So if you go to yeah. ryanjebelt.com, uh, all your stuff's on sale. Yep. And oh, yeah, I'm pushing paper. And I've noticed lately you've been doing a lot of live uh, streaming while drawing lately. Uh, where can people find that also? Is it on your Instagram or is it? Yeah, on my Instagram. I'm going to try and announce them more. I just kind of did it whenever I uh, felt like I had some time. So, Absolutely, man. Well, uh, people will uh, put on your uh, your alerts and uh, check out Ryan J's drawings on Instagram at Ryan J Ebelt, right? On Instagram? Yep, that's the one. And we love you so much, Ryan. Thank you so much for everything that you do. Another absolutely incredible drawing. Um, and yeah, thank you. RyanJBelt.com for prints, posters, everything from the past. We did it. This is another episode of, uh, of Kill Tony Quarantine. Um, put, put that down for, for your own pride, please. Just, just say it, Jeremiah. Good God. Almighty. Wait, do we have time to talk about why Jeremiah farted in the microphone? <laughs> when nobody was looking? We already talked about it. It was, our, it was sort of a... It was, next week. Yeah, maybe next week. <laughs> Jeremiah has a new episode of Jeremiah Wonders Out. You know uh, everything about him. He's Jeremiah stand-up on yep. uh, social media. Jeremiah Dash Watkins on Venmo. He'll literally sell you his soul, clearly. If you want to buy a percentage of his soul, he will sell it. Uh, he will sell absolutely anything to you. Uh, Jeremiah Watkins There's still calendars on left. YouTube. <laughs> yeah, for those of you that want to memorialize 2020, literally the worst, year. the worst year in the history of human health. Uh, you what can you can well? still get a 2020 ca calendar featuring the Milkman and Shang for all you people that lost your job. Yeah, spend your last Tony. Nine. No. Yeah. Tony and I were saying that we you could mark off all the days of how bad this year has been. Right. You can mark calendar. off when all your favorite relatives died and uh, all that. So there you go. Wow, that piece of paper is. I mean, I I've never 
I, I've never been able to have it on video, me losing respect for you. Quite like this moment right now, that the fact that you made that for this. And look how far away the camera is. Nobody can read it. It was, it was, all, it was all for nothing. It's just mind-boggling that you made that. Why Here they go. Look at that. Come on. Look at that. Nice work, guys. Absolutely <laughs> embarrassing. Tilt that camera to the left. Let's make some noise for the great Jet Ski Johnson, everyone. The queen bee. Rose-colored glasses. Kicking all the asses. She's Jet Ski Johnson on social media. What else, Jesse? Um, it's the worst Women's History Month ever. Uh, I just realized that. They all suck. Shout out to all the women out there. <laughs> is that a month? Did they get a whole month now? Women's We've History always month. had March. March is like women's month. Oh, yeah, because they're always marching for things. It's exactly. The it's the feminist uh, uh, month on the calendar. Oh, my goodness. Did the men have a month? You guys don't even know. That's how bad it is, despite the corona stuff. They, we need to bring awareness. Anyway, don't march. I didn't march. realize that, and per perhaps my lack of awareness, maybe we should get... Uh, Maybe we should try to get Feminist Stacy in here at some point in one of these upcoming episodes to talk about it. I'm sure she's going to be mad at me for not knowing that this was Women's <laughs> History Month. Yeah, that's you recorded saying that now. I'm in big trouble. Yes. How about a big hand for the backbone of the band, the one and only Joel Berg, Joel Jimenez, everyone. Joel. Joel's mostly sorry on social media. Of course, he's an official Ludwig artist. And uh, Joel, anything else? No, oh, strange times. I love you guys. It's all fucking it's positive energy, man. Let's get through this. We'll see you soon. We definitely will. Shout out to everybody that was on this evening's show. Nicole Tran, David Lucas, Tristan Bowling, Michael Lair, Ryan J. Ebel, Dom Irera. Shout out to Better Box Studios, Speedweed, Go Girl, and the damn good Candle Company. Yes. Uh... Huge sale on everything Ryan J.E. Belt. Member episodes coming soon. The two Ventura episodes. We're sort of spacing them out since they will be the last two uh, episodes with a live audience released for a while. So expect Ventura number one tomorrow. That's Tuesday, the uh, 24th of March. And we'll send that next one out the week after. And we'll throw yeah. these out in between at some point. And we uh, we are doing still podcasts at Death Squad also. So if you are bored, we have Brothers in Cursive, which is David Lucas and William Montgomery, and Brian Holtzman's podcast. And I've been doing the last four days uh, a new podcast, which is just me playing VR. Uh, it's called Virtual Red Band. You can find four episodes of that right now at youtube.com slash redband. Remember, your Miami Kill Tony tickets have automatically transferred to July 31st. If you can't make it, they're going to uh, give you a refund. And uh, July 31st and August 1st is an entire weekend of me doing stand-up comedy shows and Kill Tonys in Miami. Uh, also, the road to Kill Tony Mania was announced here. That's Sacramento, October 14th and 15th, and Kill Tony Mania. Back at Cobbs for the third year in a row. Five shows, October 16th, 17th, and the 18th. And I also recommended uh, some fun things for you to watch. Wild Tales. Don't sleep on that one. Shirt Tales. That's something you'll Duck be tales. able to recommend to everybody for the rest of your lives. Check out the Tiger King so you can understand all the jokes that we do about it next week. McMillions, Succession, Ozark. Why not watch Pink Floyd reunite in London 2005 after I'll being be, a broken up band for 30 years? I'll Live be guest hosting Brothers in Cursive on Wednesday. Too. Oh, you are? Oh, wow. Shout out to uh, Catherine Williams and Connor Schutte uh, for <laughs> Venmoing me. Catherine Williams said, I heard your soul is for sale. Oh, wow. How much did they give you? Oh, one dollar. <laughs> wow. Look at that. That's literally all it takes to get a shout out from Jeremiah and Connor, on Connor, tell show. Tony you made money from holding that paper up tonight. Thanks <laughs> for the laughs. Wow. Was that a dollar too? A dollar sixty-nine. Wow. The, hey. absolute, the absolute bare minimum you're letting people heckle this show for absolutely nothing. Thanks a lot, guys. Be safe. Have a good night, everybody. Bye. There you go. Sure. Good night, everyone. We'll Love see you, you next week. Tell your friends.